Welcome back to Extreme Outer Limits TV. I'm Ty Martin, and this week we're back in my home state here in Montana, hunting mule deer bucks here in the rut. It's middle of November, the rut's in full swing. We've seen some bucks moving. Um, I grew up local to this area. It's just kind of a tried and true tradition to come back. And this week we're battling some weather conditions. It's pretty windy. We're just gonna hike these drainages and keep looking down into them and do whatever we can to turn up some deer. I'm running our Extreme Carbon Alpine 6.5 PRC. We're running the, our EOL Elite Hunter, 156 grain burger bullet, um, rugged ridge bipod, running the rear rest, Night Force NX8 4 to 32 by 50 scope. So it's been treating me well so far this season. But um, yeah, we're just, we're battling wind. So we're hiking this, hiking the top of this mountain and looking down at these drainages and the deer have been moving. They're, they're, the rut's in full swing. So there's nothing like hunting mule deer in the rut. So we're gonna get after it, stay with us and let's have some fun. Extreme Outer Limits is presented by Night Force Optics. Precision optics for precision shooting. You're staring at us. He's like, what are you doing in my area? Well guys, we put a long day in. Um, it was just day one, so we were kind of just checking inventory, doing a little bit of scouting, but we saw some deer, uh, some you know, some decent bucks, nothing, nothing over the top, but it was a good day one. A bit windy, but we battled through it, and uh, looks like tomorrow morning we've got a break in the wind, so we're gonna hit it hard and go for a big hike where we saw some deer this morning. Um, but other than that, the rut's in full swing. As you can see, I got a buck right behind me right now, just, getting after it, so hopefully we start turning up more and more deer every day. Well guys, it's day two, but we're back up here looking down over these big drainages. Um, we just got a good buck spotted, so he's with a, he's with a doe. They're pretty rutted up, he's not going anywhere. 
we hiked up this big base and it's just kind of a big bowl. And I figured with the, the high winds today, I figured all these deer might be down, kind of congregated in the bottoms out of the wind. So we're gonna kind of just walk the rim of it and just, there's a bunch of little fingers and draws we're just gonna keep looking down into. Um, they've got water, they've got big thick timbered pockets and a bunch of bushes down here to bed in. So we glassed it from the bottom yesterday morning and seen a decent amount of deer in here. So. We just got here and we spotted a good buck, so it's looking good for us. This segment is brought to you by the Night Force NX-8 4-32 by 50 rifle scope, featuring a high-speed zero-stop turret, a 30mm tube allowing for 90 minutes of adjustment, and ED glass, producing superior image quality at high magnification. The new Zeiss Victory RF laser range-finding binocular provides you accurate ranges and ballistic corrections from 11 to 2,500 yards. A fully customizable ballistics platform, Bluetooth connectivity, and a phenomenal binocular all in a compact and lightweight unit. The new Zeiss Victory RF is EOL's range finder of choice. Basin's cool. It's got water, cover, out of the wind, out of the wind as much as it can be. Today it's howling, but there's good amounts of deer in here. A lot of deer hanging here. He's just not quite big enough. He's almost there. He gives you that look. He makes you excited. And then he, ah, he's just not quite there. Guys, it's day three of our hunt here in Montana. Um, we decided to pack up and move to a whole new area this morning. It's actually a ranch that my dad managed when I was a little baby. I was born here, so he's with us today. Uh, it's foothills of the mountains, so we're gonna drive around and look up these bushy coolies. There's lots of whitetail, so we have the opportunity and, and the uh, high chance to find a big whitetail. But we're seeing lots of mule deer already as well. So we're gonna drive around the base of these hills and, and just look into these bushy draws. Um, another day battling the high winds, so we're gonna do whatever we can to, to turn up some deer. They're still rut and they're still moving, so we're still seeing a lot of deer, even though it's windy, but we'll just have to work in close for a shot and turn up a big mature buck and get it done. Yeah, we've got a pretty good chance of seeing a, a big white well, hill. Well, sure, you've got it. What we're gonna do is go up here and come on down the hill, and then you can look at all this stuff from up on top of this hill. Okay. He's a five point, nice five by five. I mean, he's a legit five. I just couldn't tell if he was. And when I first saw him, he looked big and bladed and looked like he had a bunch of mass. One time there was two big white tails that lived in this big draw about halfway up it. And they were always together all the time. They Never got like, them? They were like brothers and they were, mm. they were both big five points. What's this road? 
That goes up, that bowl's right over the hill. We could drive up that road and go into the bowl. I used to drive either or, either up matter or however the wind is. I shot a lot of deer back in that bowl. That was like the honey hole. Well, we've had an exciting day uh, looking over some new country. A lot of whitetail on the place. We saw quite a few really good bucks that most people would have shot, but <clears throat> it's just our first day we were taking inventory, driving a lot of these high roads, glassing down into bottoms, and we turned up a lot of deer. They're rutting pretty hard, so now that we kind of got a feel for the place and where most of the deer are hanging, um, we've got a solid plan for tomorrow. Um, the morning seemed like it was a little bit better, so tomorrow morning I'm looking forward to it. I think we're, we'll see a lot of deer. Saw quite a few mule deer as well. Saw one buck that got us kind of thinking, but he just didn't have the mass. He was just a younger deer. So I think we'll focus on the whitetail for now and uh, hopefully tomorrow we turn up a shooter. This segment is brought to you by the Extreme Store. Now offering optics, bullets, and accessories for all your hunting needs. For more information, visit the extremestore.us. Extreme Outer Limits is also brought to you by Trigger Tech Triggers. With the most advanced technology in the industry, Trigger Tech Triggers offer the most precise, consistent, and dependable triggers for your rifle. On the range or in the mountains. This segment of Extreme Outer Limits is brought to you by the all-new Extreme Heavy Hybrid line of Burger Bullets. Rated best in class, ballistic coefficient, delivers the greatest amount of kinetic energy per caliber, will extend the effective range of your rifle. Go to the Extreme store to get yours today. It is day four of our hunt here in Montana. We just parked here and there's some muleys working up a drainage. There's a big muley up there. He's narrow, but he's tall, deep forks. His does are just feeding up this drainage here. So I think what we'll do is we're gonna, we're gonna get up above him and hike to this point and look down on him. I'll get a really good look at him and make a decision, but I think we're gonna take this buck. He's just young. He'll be here. He'll be hanging in the same area. He's a th three, four year old deer. He needs another year or two, I think. I got excited when I saw him. I I'll be honest. He's nice. I mean, he's got everything you're looking for. Big, deep forks, for tall. He's just young. Well, we put a few good days in over on the other side of the mountain looking for a white tail. We passed a lot of really good deer. We, we saw a couple of really nice bucks. Just didn't see what we, were, what we were looking for. So we decided to bonsai back over here on the other side of the mountain where our hunt originally started and see if we can turn up another big mule deer buck or there was one buck we've seen previously that was a nice buck. Um, we're gonna see if we can turn him back up potentially. Uh, we got tonight and one more day to hunt here. So we're gonna keep grinding, do whatever the best we can do. Um, we were just hiking in here and bumped a really good buck. 
We don't know for sure if it's the buck we spotted originally a few days ago or not, but we're just sitting up here on this rim glass in this big basin and uh, just seeing what we can turn up, so. This segment is brought to you by the Extreme Store, now offering an exclusive McMillan Game Hunter Universal Inlet Stock, capable of accepting all Remington clone actions in a wide variety of barrel contours. For more information, visit www.extremestore.us. Extreme Hunter Limits is also brought to you by the Extreme Shooting School, an information-packed two-day class. For more information, go to extremehunterlimitstv.com. This segment is brought to you by MOA Rifles, now offering their extreme series actions. Built with long-range performance in mind, MOA actions are constructed to handle the most advanced bullet and cartridge combinations on the market. For information, visit MOARifles.com. What? Is he down, buddy? Yeah. Are you kidding me? <laughs> you guys, Tim and I absolutely grinded today. I was like, let's go find a big whitetail because I had the opportunity to hunt a really good ranch that we were familiar with. My family, my dad used to manage the cattle operation there. So I've always wanted to hunt it. And I was like, oh, we'll, kill, we'll kill a big whitetail. We just didn't have the conditions to push those big whiteys out. We, we passed some good bucks. I mean, we were, we were being kind of picky, but uh, we found this buck the other day and he's just beautiful. He's perfect. And it was like the second day in and I'm like, I don't know, I think we can do better. And Tim's like, I don't know, you should shoot that deer. <laughs> so the last couple days we've been turning up nothing better, nothing better, and I said, we better go back and turn that buck up. So Tim and I took a big loop earlier today and we probably put on th three or four miles trying to turn him up and we just couldn't. So I said, you know what, let's just loop back around where we first started th thinking maybe he kind of did one of this, these with us and switch spots. So that's what we did. Sure enough, we pop over this ledge, boom, I spot him right below us. Uh, we get set up on this perch. We had a shot about I think he was like 540. We had a shot and then he just walked over a dip. So we paralleled him down this ridge, got back on him again. I'm, I shot right over him at 500. I don't know what I did. It must've been a rear desk thing. He trotted out to 530 and I hammered him. So he's down and uh, we're gonna get our packs, get everything, hike back to the four wheeler, circle around and go take a look at him. Oh yeah, he's a good buck. Oh, I hammered him. He's a real good buck. Well guys, here he is. This is an awesome representation of a, you know, a big mature Montana buck here. Um, this has been a fun hunt. I love coming back to my home state every year and hunting mule deer in the rut. It's just cool. We've seen a lot of deer and this buck's awesome. He's actually a little bigger than we thought. We saw this buck on like day two of the hunt and we were kind of being picky and we passed him. We probably shouldn't have. And, um, I'm just glad we circled back around to him and I'm super happy to put my tag on him. We've had a lot of fun. We've looked at a lot of deer. We, uh, we dealt with some tough, 
tough conditions. You know, it's been warmer than usual. Typically this time of year here in Montana, you're dealing with a foot of snow and sometimes zero negative temperatures, but that's good when you're dealing with those because it brings out the big deer. But we were dealing with windy, warm conditions and these deer were just coming out late and um, not exposing themselves. They were staying holed up, but we've had a lot of fun. We looked at a lot of deer and we, we put our tag on a really, really good buck. So uh, this, is, this is a hunt I'll look forward to every year from, from here on out for the rest of my life, coming back and hunting these mule deer during the rut. So that's all the time we have this week. We'll see you next week here on Extreme Outer Limits. Extreme Outer Limits brought to you by McMillan Stocks, Rugged Ridge Outdoor Gear, Night Force Optics, Grip and Pull, the best bullet puller in the world, MOA Rifles, Star Valley Outfitters, and Broken Top Outfitters. And also brought to you by...